Hi everybody. Welcome back to Breakfast with Miss Shine. It's not breakfast time, it is night time. And let me tell you guys, I have been taking, like obviously I watch the videos, I've been taking pictures and paying attention to what my face looks like. I also received my motorcycle license today and I said, I refuse to have additional days with all this extra fatty face. So, I am a little, you know, when, when I'm flow comes, you get that bloat feeling. So, I am having that bloat feeling. This is not a um, flow situation. This appears to be like a head situation. So, I said I'm going to commit a minimum of two times a week to use my, what is it, catification? Something like that. Machine. So, I am going to do a quick demonstration of how I've done this at least twice already. So, I feel like I get pretty instant results. So all I need to do is be consistent and do it probably, you can do it every day because the treatment is so light. So I am going to be doing that on my chin area. I was thinking about my skin because it also does skin, it's skin tightening and melts the fat. So it does both in one treatment. So that's basically what you want to, you want to hit areas that you need that, okay? So let's take a look. I thought I was going to show you what the machine is called first. I thought that was important. Well, mine is called Enchanting Glory or the company I bought it from. That's what it says actually on the box in the manual. This is what it looks like. You guys can see that. Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It, when you turn it on, of course, it has several frequencies that you can place it on. And I usually put it at a one or a two, especially for my face. Because I, I, my skin burns easy and I don't know what that thing does. So, um, I don't want my skin to burn. So, I keep it pretty low and safe. Um, it's basically giving you like a light vibration. It has a red LED light. Um, and then pretty much what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to melt the first layer of fat on underneath your skin. So, once it melts that first layer, you go back in. Like I said, you can do it. If I do it a minimum of twice a week is going to continue it's going to melt the next layer so like obviously even if my even if i'm the one obviously making my face fat because i'm eating then it won't get a chance to collect here again because i'm going to be continuously like melting each layer away so again two treatments melting the fat and tightening the skin getting rid of these lines if any i really don't have wrinkles um i'm starting to get a little bit of i don't have dark circles i don't know if you guys can see it's really not dark under my eyes it is just these ugly freckles that i have that i received getting older i literally had completely clear skin my whole life once i got like 35 or so then I started to get, I had a lot more to be honest. A lot, I had age spots here and the freckles mixed together. So like it was like, like covered almost. So I don't know if like, um, I've been using like vitamin C. If you guys looked at my um, skincare day or my um, treatment day that I have posted um, a couple weeks ago. 
and I showed you how I did my skincare routine and I do a lot of vitamin C, green tea, all that with the antioxidants and I feel like that's been improving like the age spots and the freckles and they haven't been as like covering my face. Um, I wonder if that might be a reason I really don't have moles on my face. I have them literally everywhere else, everywhere else, but they don't really come on my face. So, and that runs in my family. Everybody in my family has plenty of moles all over their face. So, let's do this, y'all. We are preserving our skin. We need to look young, honey. We need to be fresh and clear. We need to keep it cute. So, I'm going to first, I like, to, since my machine has just been out, I haven't had it um, covered in the box. I'm going to take a couple seconds just to clean it off, especially because I'm going to have it on my face. So I just want to clean it real quick. A lot of times I put oil, so just in case it has any um, residual oil from the last time I used it, I'm going to use a little rubbing alcohol just to clean it off. If you guys hear like, um, like a noise in the background, it's very cold in my house, so I have the heater on in here so I can try to warm up. I'm really cold. Secondly, let me say this other one thing. When you do this process, you it's going to heat up and you actually shouldn't be cold either. So that's what you want. You want this machine to heat up the fat so it can melt underneath your skin. So if I'm freezing, I'm going to be like not allowing the machine to work its best. So I want to stay warm. Number two. I have my water ready. You have to drink lots and lots and lots of water. You want like eight cups of water after you do this treatment and continue to do that and have a really great water regimen afterwards because that's going to flush it out. Kind of like you guys know about the lymphatic massage thing. So this machine, after it melts, the fat is going to be good for the lymphatic drainage so a good thing to do is i have actually i've done a treatment um again i have to be honest i actually usually see instant results so i do the treatment i put a little bit of coconut oil so it can glide appropriately i'm going to show you and then afterwards i'll do like a nice little massage on my face to get it to drain and to just pull it down my neck get it to drain like and for some reason the next day i can literally my jawline appears again and this is not as bad so the other thing that i'm also going to show you and i'll take you guys through the steps um under here you cannot touch your thyroid so none of this neck area can be touched. I mean, that part of my neck really isn't fat. It's really right under here. It's all right here. So what I do is I go right there. Then right here, I feel like I'm getting like that jowl thing a little. Very, very light. Can't see it. I can see it. So I go here. Then I'll do some of my cheeks. I don't want my whole cheeks to, honey, the, if my cheeks go down, then I'm gonna have like that thin, skinny, anorexic face. We don't want that and it'll have wrinkles. So, nope, we just go here and keep it where we want it slenderized here. And of course, you can go over, but remember my machine does two things melts fat and tighten skin so you gotta watch it now there's other machines that they have um out there that will only tighten the skin um i think it has a different light and it appears it looks different so it doesn't have the same um it, it doesn't produce the same energy it doesn't do the same thing so since mine works like that i just try to be really safe about where i'm putting it on my face so I'm gonna just keep it right here. Get that, honey, that double chin is, we gotta get that to be done here. And then 
a month. Of course, do all this right here. Might go right here. That's a good idea. Smooth, tighten that area, and then we're done. So we're only gonna do 10 minutes of this treatment because that's all you need on one treatment. So of course, again, I'm cleaning it off. Here is the, the actual piece of the device that I'm going to be putting on my face. That's what it looks like. This piece back here is the light. So that's what it actually does get warm. Hot, not at all. Literally, it's warm. It actually feels good. It feels soothing. Um, it feels good. So don't feel like it's not going to feel like satisfy it's almost like a massage so you'll really like it it's not as fun doing this to yourself i probably will be really nice if i got it done but again it's gonna cost to do that i bought my machine i think for 99 dollars on amazon and basically i can just keep using it so i feel like that was worth it i've seen a lot of youtube um channels that the ladies have of course they have the more expensive machines too they have the five to six hundred dollar machines thousand dollar machines um they have the more on the professional side type of machine um i bought the more inexpensive one for home use of course this is where you turn it on you change the level Turn it on. You could change the level and the timer there. That's what I'll be using. The dial in the middle is to change how strong you want it. I literally always leave it at a one or a two. I don't know what the other frequencies give you. I ain't trying it. I was gonna do my, I actually use this on my stomach. So I use it on my stomach too um, and on my arms. So under here, it's really good. I would really love if I can get someone to do my back for me. This top portion, I can kind of do like the bottom part. Here, here, here. But I can't do the top part. It's so hard. So I either need to fix, figure out a mechanism to do my back or somebody has to do it for me because there's no way to do it. Right. All right. So let's get started gonna be quick and easy so we're gonna get it plugged in I'm gonna put it down again I'm warm in here the heater is on feels good I'm gonna get this started I'm gonna change it. I have it on 30 minutes, but when I do 30 minutes, I do more than one area. And usually that's my stomach. So I do the front and then I do the back. Okay, so I put it on 10 minutes. And again, I am going to add a little bit of coconut oil just so it can glide across. I actually did order the um, ultrasound conductor um, gel too. So the next time we do this, I'll show you guys my stomach and I'll utilize the ultrasound conductive gel. And what that's supposed to do is get that red light to penetrate my fat underneath even better. So we're gonna try it out when it comes. All right, so again, we are gonna get this double chin off. I will not take another picture or video or anything and continue to look at this face that is extremely fat with a double chin where eliminating one of the chains okay let's go all right so coconut oil i have uh fractionated co coconut oil supposedly the fractionated one is supposed to be more absorbent or easier to for your body to absorb it's a really big bottle i get it from amazon i really like this one actually um so i need to put that on my reorder list i should just do the subscription to it because i really like that one and you can't smell it so if you don't like the I, I like i don't mind the coconut oil smell but if you don't like the coconut oil smell i like to always put coconut oil on my 
freckles. I can't stand them, y'all. So, I like to make sure. Ooh. See, probably just need a damn massage right here. And that's going to get this to go away. But, not here nor there. We are going to do this treatment. We're going to get it going. We're going to get this fat off, honey. Let's do it. All right, so I hold it in my hand like so. Really easy. They said it's ergonomically made for your hand, so you can glide it across. Obviously, I'm going to be gliding across my face, so I'm going to probably have to hold it like this to keep it. I like to make sure the light is not firmly, but like pressed against my face and not like halfway off. So what I think the best thing to do is we're going to glide across five minutes down here and then glide across circles. And then you're supposed to always glide it so it can go down. So I'm not going to do that, of course, on the neck because we can't go down here. So we're going to completely glide across this way. And then I'll do that little light massage afterwards. By the way, I am watching Peyton while we're doing this video. Well, not watching, right? I just have her on glancing down because she has a new vlog today. And I wanted to see what was up with her because after Vlogmas, of course, everybody stopped taping every day, which I understand. It's a lot. But she always has the gems to drop. She had on some bad boots today. Okay. All right. So let's get on with our treatment. And I am hoping my next video, well, I have a video uploading right now. The next one will be well not let me not say perfect nobody's perfect but i will have a more slenderized section here yes that's good all right we got our i like to start off with it already on my face so when i turn it on oh it's cold it's cold it's cold So again, chin is up, gliding across. It's not hot yet, by the way. It's still pretty darn cold. Obviously, I just turned it on. That's why I was saying if your oh, there it is. It's starting to have a little bit of vibration. Um you want to kind of already warm, right? So like you're not waiting for the light to warm you up. You have a little warmth already on your body, on your face. And then we're just gonna do the chin a little bit. So yeah, this is what we do. This is what we do to preserve our face. Okay. Chin. Again, I will probably do a circular motion on the cheeks. And then I'll do like a little bit of a massage afterwards. It's starting to get warm now. Doesn't hurt at all. I never... Again, I don't have the frequency up high either. I don't know if that hurts or not hurts, but I don't know if there's like that pin and needle feeling. I don't usually turn it up, so I don't know. I like to keep it safe. I can always do it over and over again. It's my machine. It's not like I'm going to get treatment, so I can do this as much as I would like. We are at 
almost three minutes. Remember, I'm only gonna do five. I gotta do more than one treatment, right? Two, three, it says you can do it three times a week. The, the machine literally says that on the instructions. So, if I can do three times a week, that would be great. I think I'm gonna do a minimum of two. And then if I can do three, maybe I will actually um, commit to every Saturday and Sunday, which are my days off, and then one or twice during the week. Then that'll give me three to four times in a week. So, have you guys been seeing um, the people that are getting the strings put in? So the girl that does my massages, my lymphatic massages, she said she was interested in because she was getting also like a really, really, really fat face. Like her face was just, she said, it's literally extremely fat. Like I can't tell she's extremely pretty. I can't tell if it's fat or not because I don't know what she used to look like. Um, but as far as like fat, like how I'm saying my face is fat, like with a double chin and everything, like I can't tell that it looks like that. It doesn't look like her face is oversized. It looks cute the way it is. Like, and it's not chubbyish looking. It's just full, not chubby. So she was thinking about getting the strings to pull up her chin area here and pull it up so i was like why don't you just use the machine on and she has this machine the up the, the the very nice one the one that's for professionals i was like why don't you just use the machine on your chin she's like but it takes long and i'm like yeah but those strings um they don't have um positive lasting effects because you don't know where the string is going to land after a while and what if you have to get the string done again because like your skin scarred over it or something like ugh. so she was like you know what i'll think about it she was like maybe i'll try to use my five minutes everybody maybe i'll try to use the machine first and see if i like it and if it's not making an improvement i will you get the string that i was like okay because i was like it's not I don't know if this string is worth it you guys leave me comments about it if you think that that string treatment is worth it i if i'm not mistaken it's very expensive too if i believe it's a thousand or fifteen hundred per string or something like that because it's something new but what they do is they put the strings up under your skin i don't know where though so i'm not sure what they're attached or connected to um for sure up under your skin they take this string and they pull it to another spot and i think they sew it down so it'll stay up under your skin of course so it's like i mean obviously if you want a facelift and instead of getting the facelift you get the string done maybe that is worth it because it's not as intense right and not pulling your face off and reattaching it and, and tying it back behind you ears and so forth so uh i don't know if people can see it because i don't know what it looks like when it heals i was watching like the news or something and they were showing it and i was like Ugh, it looks terrible because you can see where it actually pulled until they finished the treatment or something i don't know it looked terrible to me so i I wouldn't mess with my face too much. Like, this is a very light treatment. Again, I use only a one, maybe a two every now and then on here. And I feel like I get pretty good results from when I actually do it. So, I am going to commit Saturday and Sunday. And then I will follow up one to two times during the week as well. I'm going to commit to it because this is a treatment I need. I have the freaking machine. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and run down all the machines that I have. And I don't have a lot compared to other people, right? 
but just to think about like all the treatments I can really do myself and probably look better and just take my time and do it not look better but like improve my skin and make sure it's looking healthy and clear and doing that I think I can I can do that um so I have a microdermabrasure which exfoliates your skin oh my god I should do that this weekend you guys I should do all skin treatments this weekend um because I have been talking about how I feel like my skin like I don't like how it's not smooth and clear and so at least that would help a little bit right so I got that one from QVC I think it was like 60 bucks or something it works really good doesn't hurt my skin no issues so I have that I also have the what is that thing the steamer I have the facial steamer I can't do that one this weekend because um, I just got my eyelashes done and I just try to preserve them as much as possible I try to give I try to go back like every three to four weeks so in me trying to preserve it that works for me so I won't do any of that this week since I just got my eyelashes done last weekend um what else do i have um i feel like i can't remember obviously this machine um oh i have my facial scrubber the one that i use on a daily basis um i also have the attachment to that same machine the one that i wash my skin with um that is to moisturize your skin i actually need to use that this weekend and what it does is, ooh, even better because I'm going to do the machine and it massages your face. <sighs> Duh. I don't even have to do it myself manually. I can use that to massage my face. And bam, we on. We on. We on. And then I'll do like a... I won't exfoliate my skin, but I'll clean it really, really, really good. And I'll use like one of the green tea. Um, I think mine has like sand in it. It's not sugar. It's not a sugar scrub or a salt scrub. So I think it's like a sand one and it's very light. It's not um, super um, abrasive. So I can use that one. Um, and there we go. It cuts off for you. It's on the timer. We're done. I'm going to use my rubbing alcohol to clean it really good. Because remember, I put, um, I put coconut oil on my face. So let's fix that. Let's clean, this, clean us up. Because we're doing our treatment again, right? So the next treatment that I'm going to do, I said I'm going to do Saturday and Sunday, right? Tomorrow. So today is Tuesday. That's treatment number one. Tomorrow, so that's Wednesday, Thursday. Right, so I wouldn't do it until the fourth day. Maybe I should do it again Thursday. And then do it Saturday and Sunday. So now, by the way, I have like a little ting-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling -a -a right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, or, or maybe I'm crazy too. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going in just a little bit right there. Just a little bit. Let's do a quick manual massage. Let's get that lymphatic drain going. There we go, right here, right here. Let's get that drain going. My skin will be red from me rubbing it. I do it this. I do it like this too on my stomach. I'm gonna do my own massages. Okay. Ooh. Come on, skinny face. Come on, skinny face. Not skinny face, but double chin, honey. We out. 
come on come on i wonder if it'll help like these few little dark spots i got i did a good job with putting vitamin c on them after right after they i saw them so they didn't get super like black they just kind of have gave me a little discoloration not too too bad i can still cover it up with makeup when needed okay so that was a good that's a good old massage with two men massage okay so this should help what else did i say y'all two things what's the next one You can even, of course, I'm moving and doing it myself, so you can drink the water while you're doing it. <coughs> lots of water, lots of water so it can drain. Don't forget that. I think we're all set. So, you guys know what to do now. We're going to go ahead and unplug us. We're, it's all clean. We're ready for the next treatment. I like to use this. I like to leave it in the box that it comes in. It's like a plush little box. I just set it up in there. Just so I can have it ready. I need to make myself a little snacky. This feels good. I'm still warm, right? My skin feels warm too. That's what you want to have. You don't want to be cold. So I'm actually going to leave out of here and go make me a snack. And come on, y'all. Okay, double chin is there, but look how low I'm at it. Look how low. What do you guys think so far? I don't have my shoulders back to relax. So far. Do I look the same? Oh, I should have did it before and after. Shoot. Better. Do I need the string? I need the string, y'all. Come on. If I need the string, lift my face up. I think that helped you guys. I'm serious. I really do. Again, draining. Helping the drain come out with the massage. Come on, we're going to be on in a minute. We're going to be on. I naturally have a fat face. Like, let me, disclosure. I naturally have a fat face, right? I naturally have high cheekbones. But where the extra comes in is this. This is the extra. So, yeah, my face should be round. And it should be pretty full. But it's a little, it's extra right now. It's a lot. This. It's this. And that is what it's full. Basically full of fat. So we're gonna get that to go away. I'm gonna get this. Actually, that jowl thing. Not too bad. I don't see it as much. And that's pretty much like these. It's like right here. There's already like little ball areas right here but it gets fat on top and then they kind of make your face look saggy so i felt like it was getting like it was bulging so i was like Ugh. i do not want to look like that so i think we did a good job ladies we will look a lot better we will we need to flat iron our hair again uh, for the gods so we can get back in business i think i'm gonna take my extensions out soon i think i did this in november i really can't remember i think i did it in november um my tape ends i did change it in december i went from a side part because it was like no i didn't have time for that to a middle part so that was the change so that kind of freshened me back up but i think I've already had it since November. That's a pretty long time. You could keep, by all means, y'all could keep y'all wigs, hairstyles, as long as you want. Yep, there it is. Um, I'm more like a month and a half, month, month and a half, 
probably month and a half, two months type of person when it comes to hair. I'm not gonna wear a weave for three months. I'm just not gonna do it. So we are trying to figure out what we're gonna do with our hair and thinking about um, possibly utilizing my wavy, my deep wave, not deep wave, water wave hair and making a long bob probably to like right here um, with a flip over because I like to leave my edges out, okay? I like to leave my edges out and I do a flip over and I leave a little bit extra right here out so it can flip over with my real hair attached to the, what, you know, I'll, t I'll show you guys another time, but <clears throat> thinking about doing that, I need something cute. I need something to like jazz me up. I think I'm just feeling down, like not as cute as I would like to feel. So we're going to work on brightening things up. So we're going to get our double chin together. We're going to flat iron our hair until we get our plan of action. Um, or if I'm going to buy some more hair and do a whole nother style. Um, the only reason I was going to do the water wave bob, because one, I wanted to try it, like, regardless. I wanted to see what I look like with that. And then number two, it, I already have everything, so I could get it done quickly. So, we'll see. I have some other hair, but I don't know if I have enough. I have some, what do you call that hair? Is it kinky curly? I think it's kinky curly hair. I have that too and I know that looks cute in the bottom I don't know if I care for that hair I might use that for a ponytail I don't know about that I'm used to bigger waves or curls and I don't know if I'm gonna like that those tighter curls so we are thinking about all the things um beauty this week and this weekend so I will keep you guys informed up on the blog on the blog on the blog on the vlog so we can do it all together you guys can see my transformations see how my actual machines are working for me see if my skincare routine is working for me so i think it's probably time to change it up but i have some stuff that i already have to change it up so let's change it up together let's see what's going on this week and i will be back on the vlogs thank you for tuning in to breakfast with miss shine we will have breakfast this weekend and y'all already know what breakfast really really is the tea the coffee the chill the good food the comfort food the snacks that's all us whatever we need to do to get together and hang out and chill and chit chat that is what breakfast is with miss shine all right thank you everybody don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see